NHL shooting trends. In this video, I cover several plays that NHL skaters have been using to light the lamp more consistently. The trends include shooting low against goalies who stay on their feet to read the play, targeting under the goalie's push leg, executing short angle fadeaway one-timers, aiming high on the short side against the reverse VH, making late adjustments to alter the release and direction of the shot. Make no mistake, shooters who internalize these principles and become second-order thinkers, focusing on what the goalie doesn't want them to do rather than what they want to do, will score more goals. But this doesn't necessarily mean they'll score a lot of goals. All of the trends showcased in the video boil down to two key concepts. One, shooting where there's less open net than usual, from bad angles or low against a butterfly goalie. Two, disrupting the shooting motion to add deception, often at the cost of velocity, accuracy, and consistency. In other words, doing things that don't seem logical until they do. We see Nate McKinnon, Austin Matthews, and David Pasternak catching goalies off guard with these impressive, counterintuitive plays. However, even for elite players like McKinnon, Matthews, and Pasternak, volume is key. Last season, McKinnon registered 405 regular season shots with a 12.6% conversion rate. Pasternak had 382, 12.3%, and Matthews had 371, 18.6%. In baseball terms, these guys are getting on base. Elite scorers generate enough shot volume to establish distinct shooting patterns. This allows them to strategically employ pattern breakers, tricks outlined in the video, to boost their conversion rates by a few percentage points. For players who take only 100-200 shots in a season, these pattern breakers don't have the same impact due to the smaller sample size. Moreover, every low percentage bad miss can play tricks on a lesser shooter's mind. Would you aim five hole on a grade A chance if you knew it was your only one of the night? Puck acquisition, off the pass in space, transitional efficiency, controlled exits, controlled entries, offensive zone possession, and to an extent, defensive play, forcing turnovers, defensive stops, getting back on offense, are the real drivers of goal scoring. Thank you to watching another Habs Nation video. But before we leave, we invite you, don't forget to click on the like, subscribe to the channel, and finally let us a comment about this video. And remember, you have greatness inside of you, and we wishes you an amazing, great, and blessing day.